Oh boy, that's my new gem. That's my new gem right there. Hey everyone, so reading through the patch notes, I arrived at the legendary gems. The 1 star gem Lowe's Focus Gates is not new, we have actually seen this more than a year ago because it was data mined. The effect has changed, the 5 star gem is Gloom Cask, I don't care, and the 2 star, Pain Clasp, oh god. So it says, increases damage dealt by 24% to enemies suffering from continuous damage effect. When an enemy is suffering from continuous damage, is within 10 yards, your movement speed is increased by 6%. What? I've made a video about my gems and showed how easy it is to proc Everlasting Torment. Agony is a continuous damage effect, so that means that's another use for Everlasting Torment to help me utilize this gem. So easy, but then I thought something even better. Puncta Obscura you don't know this, but I actually recently tested Puncta Obscura against the Hungerer. And I got the same result as single target damage on Blood Rose. In a Forgotten Tower solo test, it falls behind a little bit, but this gem will make a difference. So it actually boosts everything I do. It boosts my Everlasting Torment to deal more damage and boosts my own shooting damage. And at this point, I started to think about throwing my blood soaked jade in the trash can because I'm that type of person. So I can have all my slots awakened. My blood soaked jade isn't going further in rank, providing me 320 resonance and 13.5% damage that usually drops a lot with my health. If I rank up this 2 star pain clasp to rank 10, that's 300 resonance plus at least 11 more to get my additional 3% primary attack damage. With the 24% increased damage effect that works on literally everything, even bosses. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna replace my Bloodsock Jade with this one, but I'm hyped as fuck. I will use this shit for sure. Thanks for watching.